Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to today's video. Today we're doing some more decorating. So if you remember from one of my last videos we did this little bridge area and it was super duper cute. Still is. And uh, I mentioned that I wanted to build my orchard back here because I just thought that would be a really good spot and I have all these fruit trees here anyway so it was kind of, kind of giving me the vibe. So that is what we're gonna work on today. I'm also sporting the uh, fall version of my traditional outfit <laughs> which I think is super cute. It's a nice mix-up. I don't really have any plan as always as you know me but I definitely have to clear some stuff away also as always because I'm just a huge mess and my island is a huge mess and we're just gonna ignore this whole beach area because just just ignore it okay. It was gonna be something but now it's not and I just haven't moved it yet. So I've only had an orchard on my island once and that was near the beginning of the game. I just had a super simple like line of trees or like lines of trees and yeah not a fan. I want something way more dynamic of course and I do love the idea of having some sort of like extra thing added onto the orchard so like a little picnic area or like a little or like a little fruit stand. I know a lot of people do fruit stands or smoothie stands or fruit juice stands and they use those uh, infused water dispensers which I think is really cute. I'm also kind of considering destroying the cliffs and just building it on the first level but I would have to waste an incline for that. Let me see how many I have. Right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I do have six inclines built, so I have two extra that I could use. We'll maybe do that, we'll see. Okay, let's see if I can fix this a bit because I don't like that it's just like a straight edge like this. Really not a fan, really not a fan. So if we can like fix it up a bit, this little area is really cute. I could definitely put something here. Maybe we'll give us a little more room. I'm also thinking like we could do like a half and half. Let me see if I can put this into words. I'm thinking of like doing half of the orchard up on the cliffs and then half of it on ground level and like making another mini fake bridge to connect it. I don't know how to describe that. It's a big brained idea. I don't know like I really want an interesting orchard. I could also go look at some inspo picks. But I don't want to look at too many inspo picks because I want to come up with stuff, you know, by myself. Use my little brain cells. Put them to work. Okay, I'm going to try my crazy idea. I don't know how it's going to turn out. We'll see. If it doesn't turn out good, I'm just going to cut this whole thing out. I guess. <laughs> What I'm trying to do here is create like a diagonal and I'm destroying these cliffs like terribly. Okay, I'm trying to create like diagonal um, little valley in these cliffs. Let's see if I can do a good job. Why did I decide to put all my flowers here? Couldn't I see into the future and know that I was gonna build exactly in the spot and that these would be a huge inconvenience? Come on past me, get it together. So while I'm cleaning all this up, I wanted to say thank you to the people who have checked out my dream address on acnhtour.com and left me a review. That that's so sweet of you guys. I didn't even tell you guys to go leave reviews for my island, but you did anyway. So thank you so much. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should check out my last video that I posted. Um, I talked about a great website for finding dream addresses. It's honestly like super super good so you should check it out people have been telling me that they're finding great dream addresses on there so highly recommend but yeah uh thank you guys so much and i feel really bad because my island is <laughs> such a mess in the back like those of you who have explored it know like all of the places that are like a huge disaster and i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm just a disaster like that <laughs> But hopefully we can at least clean up this little area today. This is one of the biggest disaster areas because this is all my tree storage and flower storage. So yeah, I hate having to take out my ladder, go up, do the thing, go back down. Ah, oh, so inconvenient. First world problems. So essentially, I'm just trying to make like a little valley and I said a second ago like I could have another little bridge connecting it because I thought 
I could just make like dig out a whole huge line like all the way across but actually I think that's way too much work and I'm lazy so instead I'm just gonna make this like huge outcropping that I'm doing and that way they're still connected over here you know you can just go around it and um, yeah that way it's way less work and we still get something really cute and fun and different than just trees in a line I'm curious to know What's your favorite fruit tree, like, aesthetically? Because my favorite fruit from all the fruit trees is cherries, but I think the cherry trees are, like, the second ugliest fruit tree. <laughs> uh, I don't like the pear tree at all. I think it's so ugly. Like, green against green. I wish they had picked a different fruit that wasn't green already. I don't know if anybody else categorizes the fruit trees by aesthetics, but I certainly do. So, for me, I really like the orange trees because I feel like just like the orange on green are they like complementary colors or, or something because they look really good and i really like the peach trees because they're pink and i love pink and i'm fairy court island so you know gotta have me some pink that's the only fruit tree that really fits let me know what's your favorite fruit tree because i can't be the only weird one who does that <laughs> i don't know how this is gonna work i'm thinking we can have fences here on the sides we have a little sign maybe that says like orchard you know maybe get oh no we already have one over here i don't know something like a sign and some fences maybe some barrels welcoming you from the bridge and then we'll have a few trees because we can't fit that many right here and then we'll have the trees you know just kind of be like thrown wherever and let me actually do something while i'm while I'm spitballing ideas here. Um, we'll have trees. Of, I'll have to move all these pear trees and stuff that are right here. Like, we'll just put different ones because the pear trees suck. No, I'm just kidding. I do want every tree. Every fruit tree, so. We'll just have to rearrange them a bit. And then the trees will continue here, of course. And I guess we're going to have to move more of this. I really didn't want to go this far and move all these flowers, but what can you do? And then more trees back here. And then at the bottom, in that little valley that I made, I could put like the extra thing I was talking about. Like a little eating area or some sort of little stall, a fruit market. Could do something with the fruit furniture. I don't know. I also got to keep it fairy core. So what could you put? If you're like a little fairy dancing around in the woods and you go and pick fruit, what do you do after? <gasps> oh my god, you know what we could do? We could do like teddy bear picnic or like Alice in Wonderland type of thing where we have like a really long table. I've seen people do it. Like we'll have a bunch of tables lined up going down and we'll have like a bunch of mismatched chairs and like teddy bears and like a bunch of plushies that are like sitting down and eating and we'll put a bunch of stuff on the table. I think that sounds really cute. And of course we'll have some trees down there as well. I gotta also figure out how to make an orchard like fairy core because when you think of a, a fruit orchard and like farm related stuff you think of like brown wood and all that jazz let's start off with what are we doing for the ground the path that's always the question we do have the leaf path leading us so we could continue with that maybe just a little bit i do want to add some dirt i want this area to look super natural supernatural <laughs> We can just have like this blob. We can just do dirt from here on out. Dark dirt. Because I do have these which lead you to the uh, little secret area, you know? Let's extend these little squares that we did. So they um, kind of kind of lead you over here. Okay, how does this look? Oh. <laughs> it doesn't have a transparent pixel. Never mind. That's kind of like the general path that I would like. It, you know, it goes with this slanting cliff area, so whatever. That's just, we'll just keep that for now. We'll see how everything looks. Oh yeah, the fences. What am I even doing? Barbed wire. Wait. Ah, silly old me. I forgot to put stuff under it first. Okay, barbed wire. Barbed wire. Ooh. There we go. Now this is this is a real secret path. Should I add another one here? No, I like the the look of just one. And you know what we can do? We can do another one offset 
back here, like that. I think a light source right there in that little corner would be good. And then we can have something tall here. Like, can we actually fit a tree? Because that would be perfect. Oh my god, yes! <gasps> and then like another one here. Or is that too symmetrical? Let's do here instead. Orange tree. Okay, what if we mix in country fence? Because we love it. Oh, now it kind of blocks this area though. The tree totally blocks the path. I found a star clock on the ground. So let's try throwing it on the floor here. Oh, perfect. And it's a white one. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, this orange tree is like take is like blocking um, too much of the path that I just made. So even though it is gonna be symmetrical, I'm gonna move it. Oh, actually, I can do I can just do a different tree. I'll just do a different tree. We can have just like one cedar tree at the entrance there. There we go. I mean, that way it's not super symmetrical. And uh, yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> I can live with that. So since we put an apple tree, I guess let's stick with apple trees on this little area. And actually, now that I do this, I'm like, this is not going to be cohesive at all. Hopefully this still works, because like, I do want my trees to be accessible at least a little bit. I mean, I don't. I never even pick fruit anymore except to eat it, to move stuff. But you know, it's it's gotta still be accessible. Oh, that apple tree is naked. I do think apple trees are really cute though. They're just like so satisfying. Like an apple, like yes. So like that, they're like, you know, it's not a straight line. They're offset from each other. Okay, and then I think on this side I'm gonna do orange trees. I'm not gonna do pear trees because it's kind of close to Lily's little house area and that's already a super green area. So I'm not gonna do pears. Uh, and now I'm like running out of space so I have to I have to clear some more of this out. After shaking this tree, it just reminded me of something because there's a bush next to it. And um, instead of the fruit falling on the side, it fell forward. So two of the fruits were in a line. And if I had a bush here, it would have they would have all fallen in a straight line. I could totally do that to make it easier. Like put bushes or just put something on either side of, sides of the tree. That is a really nice tip that I've definitely seen before to put stuff on either sides of the tree so they all fall in a straight line. So it's like just easier to pick it up. And in hindsight, I should have just gotten like a bunch of turnip stacks to eat because I'm having to go and harvest so much fruit and eat it so much. I could have just gotten turnips and just eat my stack of 10 of them and called it a day. But hindsight is 2020 and uh, I wear glasses. So oh, let's look at her outfit today. I did not give her that. Oh. She got camera shy. All right. Okay, now what I'm trying to decide is do I want the orchard to keep going to the left or do I just kind of want to like curve it and it just like extends over here? I don't know. Yeah, we'll keep it going to the left a bit, I think. Now I have to go find some more fruit trees because I actually like kind of ran out. Where are my orange trees? I'm gonna have to go steal some from Tangy's house. Sorry, Tangy. I'll return them, I promise. <laughs> I can't decide if this is looking like really nice and like just dynamic and not linear or if it's just looking like uh, total chaos <laughs> like am i just making it look bad with like putting the trees randomly should i have them more uniform and since i never use like any color flower besides white pink and yellow we can take this opportunity to use some of the red flowers that i just abandoned oh of course of course when i just needed the most it fails me. I better buy two while I'm at it. I'll probably be here a while. Digging, turning the soil, breaking my back for these ungrateful villagers who just want to stare at a shaved ice machine instead of come help me out. You live here too, you know. So what I think we could do is use some of this country fence to kind of divide it. And this will make it feel a lot more like an orchard in my opinion so we can put some like here and then along the backs of these trees right right okay yeah that definitely helps it feel more like an orchard to me and i'll add some i'll add some more don't worry we can kind of leave like a gap here for a path because um yeah we need a way out of this orchard <laughs> to the left of it maybe like a three tile gap and then we could put some more fence here ish and then the uh, pear trees can start going here somewhere. Do he fit here? Do they be fitting? They do be fitting. 
You know what? I kind of, I kind of just want to make it all dirt. I don't know. Like the in-game paths, like they don't do as much for me <laughs> as the um the nine tile paths that everyone's obsessed with. Like those are just so good because you can make um skinny areas and chunky areas, and everything just like flows so well together. But I feel like it's hard to make the in-game paths flow. Like they're so blocky. And also, like I wish you could make a straight edge instead of this like weird lumpy stuff like what is this nobody wants this <laughs> and what i'm also loving is this bush next to the fences like that was a total accident but i think i'm gonna put it which one is that this one right here and then put some more fences so it's like a bush fence what okay just ignore all the mess of flowers we're gonna fix it okay i just i only have so much inventory space and so much patience with these flowers i'm also starving right now fun fact i had some chex mix like two hours ago like a bowl of cheddar chex mix and that's been it and i had some water nutritious and delicious meals i know what the heck is that Oh, those are the weeds. <laughs> I was like, what is that? I'm still not familiar with the fall weeds, I s suppose. And it's like, once I start getting hungry, I just... Everything goes downhill. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but... I start getting a little bit grumpy. I start getting a little bit impatient. Because I just want some food. <laughs> I know they call that hangry, like you're hungry, like you're angry because you're hungry, but I actually hate that term and i refuse to use it so i'll just say that i'm hungry and that i'm upset or i'm grumpy because i'm hungry i will never say that i'm hangry you'll never catch me saying that i think it's so dumb <laughs> also am i the only one like i hate it when um whenever there's like not room to plant something and it gives you that little notification like there's no room to plant something in this area i absolutely despise when they do that i wish they would like um, I don't know. Like, that half second notification just drives me insane. It just drives me insane. I wish instead it would be like, when you try to press something in your inventory but there's nothing there. Like that, and it just does that noise and it doesn't do anything. I wish it would just do that. I wish instead, like, if you try to plant a flower and there's no room, it would just do that. Instead of making me waste my precious time with a notification or pop-up box, like, just leave me alone. Okay. We cleared out some space. There's just still a mess on that side, but we pretend we don't see it. And I've only ever eaten a pear, like, once. Is that weird? Are pears, like, really common? Because, like, I never grew up eating them. We would never buy them at my house. I only had one, like, once. And it's, like... At least the one that I tried is like an apple, kind of, but like different. <laughs> an apple, but different. That's my consensus of pears. I'm gonna put two of them in a straight line. Oh no, why does that one not have fruit? And then I think I want the path to kind of reach over here. I'm just putting down like a rough idea of what I would like. And then it'll extend to the right, and then it also goes to the left. You know, if I am going to use this in-game path of the dirt, I think I do want to make the orchard a little bit more linear. Like, um, of course it's going to still be like really um, just not straight lines at all. It's kind of weird the trees being like all here and there when the path is just kind of like a straight thing. How do I explain this? <laughs> I'm just going to- I'm going to fix some of it, I think. I'm gonna need a lot more fruit for this. <laughs> yeah, because that looks good. Like having like just this thick with two C's path. So yeah, I think we can get away with it. Get away with stuff in a straight line. Okay. Um, I don't <laughs> I don't really like this either. Okay, as much as I don't like having them only one space apart, I'm gonna try it. I don't like how they like start eating each other um for now fine or like i just want like a thick soup i love soup i feel like soup is so underrated and when someone says they don't like soup i'm like what 
What the soup is wrong with you? God, I wish we could just eat the stacks. Let me eat the stack of fruit. Okay. Where we have room to space them out, like, with two spaces apart, I think I'll do that. So like here, we've got enough room. And then I think I will bring these down just, just a bit. They look a little bit more organized like that. That's what I was trying to say. And then I think we'll do one literally right here. Just to end it off. I like that. I like that a lot, even though this one here kind of bothers me. Hmm. What if we just move it over one? The amount of fruit that's been consumed today by my Animal Crossing character, like... Does fruit have a lot of fiber? Can I make a poop joke? And uh, this apple tree is actually purely decorative. <laughs> I just realized that. If I shake this... Well, I'm not gonna shake it now, but I think only I would, I would only get one fruit, which kind of sucks. But whatever, we need some sacrifices in this world. Um, let's flesh out our path a bit. We're going thick. We're going blocky. We don't even care anymore. No, why is it a naked one again? The apple trees are a little bit smushed together. While the orange ones are nice and spread out. Uh, poor dudes. I also don't know what's gonna go to the left. But we'll figure it out. Oh, that's cute. It just kind of sticks out. I love that. That's really cute. Okay. Let's try putting the workbench here. That way I have another one on my island somewhere. <laughs> I literally have one workbench on my island and it's like... I need more than that. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi Pepper! Hi! Are you here to decorate with us? Yes? <laughs> I'm so glad you decided to make an appearance. Alright, what else we got? Some log stakes. Ooh, the silo. We can't forget about the silo. We could put the log stakes here so we can do that thing where all the fruit falls in a straight line. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then since this one's on the edge, I think one of the fruits would just fall and disappear, but that's fine. And uh, this country fence. Where else? Where else do you belong, baby? No, not here. <laughs> well, let's put down some flowers first. Let's just put one here. Ooh, actually we need to move this so all the fruit can fall. And then we can put a flower. Yes. Okay, so the fruit can fall. This is actually really cute. I like how this looks. It's like making little micro areas with the trees, kind of. <laughs> Ooh, we can also incorporate the barbed wire fencing. It's a good fence. Ooh, maybe some rocks. Put a rock somewhere. Okay, I'll put a rock there. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, let's add like a little, a little dongle. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. A little dongle of like dirt. Okay, I can't see what I'm doing behind this tree. Stop destroying them. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, queen. Yes, paths. Let's let's go. We haven't even started working on the little area yet. Oh, there's so much to do. I've already been recording for an hour and 20 minutes. What is this? Okay, this will be like the main entrance slash, slash exit out of here. You know what we can do? We could also put some more bushes. Love me a good bush. Nice. Okay. Kind of fills in that space back there. Alright. Um, I should probably keep working on the actual trees, probably. <laughs> I took a huge break. I took Pepper, what? Why are you whining at me? Um, I took a huge break to go and fix all that stuff. So yeah, back to the actual orchard. Can you- Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Like, leave, please. I need, like, some stress-free audio and you're just making it stressful. Ugh. Oh my god. Do I really have to just catch you? Like, are you gonna make me do this? Oh my god, please! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay, you know what I think I'm gonna do here? Instead of putting them two spaces apart, 
I'm gonna put them three spaces apart. I know, crazy. Uh, actually like insane stuff we're doing here on Froggy Crossing. Okay, and then we'll do this bad boy back here. Like that. Yeah, I think that's good on pear trees if I'm being honest. All right, now let's move these peach ones and we can throw the cherries back here because I don't I don't care about the cherries either. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I was eating oranges even though I want something warm. Warm in my little belly. Like some chicken and rice. <laughs> uh, please. Oh my god, an apple pie. Like a warm, fresh apple pie with some vanilla bean ice cream on top. Like... If you're gonna propose to me, it better be with an apple pie like that, because otherwise I'm not gonna accept. Okay, peach tree. Gonna have to move this path, unfortunately. Or uh, we can just change it up a bit. Okay, where are the peach trees? Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of this rock because he is annoying and in the way. All right, the poor cherry trees are all the way in the back. <laughs> oh, poor dudes. But you know what? That's that's what happens when you're the ugliest fruit tree. Put in a bush. Put in a bush. Uh, uh, uh. Put in a bush. Put in a bush in the ground. Okay, so either I used all my peach trees or I just picked the fruit off of all of them because I cannot find any more. <laughs> okay, I found one peach tree. Yes. Okay, I have three cherry trees. Um, four peach trees, but I think I'm gonna put more peach trees down in that valley. Five pear trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, well, five, because that one's decorative. Apple trees. One, two, three, four, five, six orange trees. Okay, so it's like, it's like a good amount of each, except for the cherry trees. I'm gonna add a cherry tree here. Let's try putting down some custom designs. Thought it would be cute to have like a little, a little bucket. Like, I guess, as a fruit picking bucket? Where is it? Tin bucket. Wood bucket. Here. Ah! Oh, isn't that just so sweet? And since I have so many random bushes, I can just slap them back here to fill up that space. Nice and easy. Some more fencing. And then you can't really see this little area that's right here. I'm just gonna stick a flower. That should be fine. Where is it? Little stool. And uh, we're gonna put this hat on top of it. That way it's like... It's like um... Someone just left their hat, like the farmer left their hat when they were picking picking the fruits. We, have, we also need some lighting around here, so I'm gonna put that. Oh, and I totally forgot about the silo. So I think I'm gonna put it, well, I'm gonna put a tree right there. I just have to go get another one. Yes, okay. That actually is so nice. You know what else I need? I need some freaking coconuts. That is another one of my favorite things to do, is to uh, grab a bunch of coconuts and plant them in the dirt so it's just the little sprouts. Cutest thing ever. There we go. And then we could put uh, an extra orange on top of there, probably. I just, um, I gotta go grab one. And I think let's finish off the fencing over here. Like this. There we go. I think if I do like this. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Adds a little something. Oh, we can do the barbed wire in front. Right here. Let's put some weeds back here just so nothing can grow. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna have one skinny path. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing back here. I'm pushing this path back by one tile and then we will put the majestic country fence behind it, like that. Or behind the trees. There we go. For some separation. 
Yeah? Alright. Oh my god, Pepper just sprinted in here. Pepper, okay, please. The other one I have is a cherry one, so we can definitely just like throw that here. For sure. There we go. Oh! Little bucket on top. We kind of have this big gap here, so whenever I have a big gap and I don't know what to do with it, I just... I just toss this custom design down and it takes care of all my problems. It pays all my bills. It feeds me. It even sometimes gives me a kiss when I'm feeling lonely. Some pink flowers over on this side to match, of course, the pink fruits. Peaches. I forgot what a peach was. <laughs> I forgot the name of these. Uh, the pear area. The peria, if you will. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so funny. The pear area is looking a little empty. So we need to uh, fix that. Let's do another skinny bad boy right here. Fence. Uh, it needs. Ugh, I gotta move more of these flowers. I don't want to deal with this. With this chaos. Like, why did I do this to myself? We're trying something crazy. We're going off, off the charts with this. Ah. Oh. Yes. And a fence on top of it. Okay. If that isn't decorating in this game, then what is? A nice, beautiful flower. Perfect. Right there. Oh, gorgeous. I'm gonna put this garden faucet right here. So it's kind of like you have to wash yourself on the way in or the way out. I don't know. Maybe it should be on the way out. <laughs> Let's just uh, rotate that real quick. I'm actually gonna put the coconut over here. I honestly love putting these little coconuts. Like, I think they're perfect because they, like, are something- it's like 3D, right? It's like flowers. It's like the same line as flowers. Like, you can run through them, but they also take up space, which I think is perfect. And uh, I, if you have it on, like, a path, it's better than flowers because flowers you could run over and destroy them, but this, you can run over it all you want and it just stays there. <laughs> it's great. Ah, oh, fits right in that little corner. Beautiful. Oh, but then I can't, then I can't pass by. Okay, never mind. You can go right there. Good sir. I'm gonna put that hand cart back here because it does add to the it does add to the whole like what's this called again? An orchard vibe, but it's kind of ugly. So I kinda wanna keep it hidden, you know? Alright, we're putting the ukulele on a box. You can kind of see it. <laughs> there we go. No! <sighs> no! <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm gonna put it back here. Cute. Let's put this little mum cushion here. Wait, wait a second. Oh. I saw this, uh... This wasp nest sitting here, and I'm like, hmm, that could make like a <laughs> like a little decoration, like right there. Oh my god! <laughs> Actually, let me put it over here somewhere where it's more visible. Am I crazy? <laughs> Funny. Let's start up here and work our way back. We definitely need some custom designs in some areas where it's kind of empty, so I will do that. Right here, yes, okay. And definitely here in front of these bad boys. Let's get another flower up in here. Yeah. I'm gonna slap a flower over here. Okay, looks good all throughout here. Looks good up here. Um, let's put that other cardboard box here, even though it's not the correct fruit. But shh, no, one, no one's gonna know, okay? This is kind of a big empty area, and I, like, it, it kind of leads into, uh, 
chaos, but I just don't know what I'm doing with that area yet. So I will fix all of this up at a later point in time. <laughs> let's just let's just stick these wherever there's room. Screw it. Or, ooh, the bamboo doll actually. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, I like that. Let's do a mushroom and let's do a nova light on top, just for fun. But I gotta push it. Cause I gotta- you, you know what I have to do, I've gotta put something under it. Just like that. Ugh, oh, I ran out of country fence. <laughs> Help me. Let's do a little fence right here. And then we'll put a weed right here. Uh, barbed wire right here. Just like that. And then I still need another peach tree. I've been recording for like two hours. I don't know how this is not done yet. For now we can put a bush. There we go. Fills it up a little bit. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is kind of go crazy with the weeds. I'm just gonna put them all over on the, uh, the path. Maybe some of these pink ones. Alright. I think we're done. For now. I have put a lot of work into this. This took me way longer than I thought it was going to. So I'm gonna be done for now. I will do the little tea party area in another episode, in another let's play, because I'm I'm starving still. <laughs> I've been starving for like three hours now, so I'm gonna go eat. But I wanted to give you one last look of our little orchard that we made. So we come in from our bridge. We've got our little entrance with all our little apple trees, and it's very red and beautiful. We've even got a little workbench in case we need to do some construction we follow the path and we've got our orange section we've got a little ukulele if we want to jam we've got you know cute fruit cute fruit <laughs> and then as we go up we've got a little big path that takes us out which we ignore the mess on the other side we've got our little bucket if we pick fruit we've got uh, our pear area our peria <laughs> and uh then we as we come up we have our beautiful pink pastel ch uh i almost said cherries peach area and then we've got our few cherry trees back here ignore the fact that that one's picked and the other orange tree too but yeah and uh, i really like it so in that little valley we're gonna do like a little tea party area and it's it's gonna be really cute so i think that's i think that's it that is gonna be all for me today. Hopefully you found some inspiration. You know, maybe you wanna do a little orchard. That would be super cute. I think I have a lot of good ideas here that came from my my brain. So I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely check out the Discord. We have a bunch of giveaways going for this week and definitely check out my Twitter and my Instagram as always. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>